Hey YouTube, this video is going to be a review slash my uh, preferred setup of Multiflow. So for those of you that don't know what Multiflow is, I'll give you just a quick look at what it, what it looks like. So here we have Apple's App Switcher and here's the Multiflow. Okay, so Multiflow was recently updated and it was an overdue update. Anybody that had Multiflow installed would probably tell you that it was sort of like having a beta version of an app, but they had to pay for it. So uh, what I mean by that is that the app on a good day, a very good day, would crash two or three times throughout the course of a day. And when I say crash, I don't mean that it, you know, it would just close and you go about your business and reopen it. Not that type of crash. This crash would require a complete respring. So I was glad to see that the developer you know decided to try to fix the crashing and I gotta tell you I have been running in 2.0.2-4 which is the newest version for about three days and I've had zero crashes so I mean whatever he's done to fix the crashing definitely did fix it now the app still has issues but they're not I'm not gonna say they're not major I'd say that they're minor issues compared to the crashing okay so the the main issues are this three of them okay the ones that need to be addressed I'm gonna show you how to fix two of them and the other one I was able to make somewhat manageable okay first is even though the developer states that backgrounder is not needed it is it's definitely needed hands down and the reason why it's needed is that all apps haven't been updated to you know be compatible fully compatible with iOS 4 so you know they, they don't support multitasking some do some don't so backgrounder is kinda needed for now until you know all apps are compatible with iOS 4 I mean I really don't think we're ever gonna get to a point that every developer is going to update their apps because I think some people just aren't aren't uh, supporting their apps anymore and I just don't think it'll ever happen you know be compatible fully compatible with iOS 4 so you know they they don't support multitasking some do some don't so backgrounder is kind of needed for now until you know all apps are compatible with iOS 4 I mean I really don't think we're ever going to get to a point that every developer is going to update their apps because I think some people just aren't aren't uh, supporting their apps anymore and I just don't think it'll ever happen okay so what I want to do is I want to show you uh, real quick in backgrounder uh, what that background is actually gonna do for your app now when I open up let's say Safari okay you'll see in the right hand corner on the taskbar there's a little N and backgrounder is t telling us that it's a native multitasking application so um, backgrounder is not doing anything with this app it's it's gonna let Apple do it the way that Apple does it multitasking okay however <clears throat> if we open up this app here red laser after it loads you're gonna look at the top and we don't have an N this is a backgrounder app okay backgrounder is gonna run this if you try to background this one it's not going to go to Apple's backgrounding uh, way to, 
ways of doing it, uh, background is going to take over. So it won't close and crash. It'll actually stay in the background. So watch. So here it is. Now, if I didn't have background or installed, this wouldn't be there. This would not be in multiflow. It would still somewhat be opened up in memory in the app switcher. The app itself, under Apple's rules, would iOS terminate the app, but it would still appear in the app switcher as an icon, which would need to be manually closed. So this takes away that, and you can close it from here instead of in the app switcher. So again, backgrounder, I, I believe it's needed. I'm going to show you real quick when you do download backgrounder that there is a setting that you have to change. Now let's see. You go into global, and right there, you see where that check mark is there? Auto detect. So if it's a native supported app, Apple takes care of it else use backgrounder that's what you want to select and when you download backgrounder it's gonna come with one of these other ones I think it's just backgrounder for everything so I'll um, put it on the auto detect it seems to work the best so far okay my second problem with multiflow is the lack of support for the lock orientation so if we go over here and we take a look you got lock orientation we can lock it and you know you'll see it up next to the battery that the screen is locked now in multiflow there's no way to do it so the fix for that is it's a download as long as you have SB settings you go into Cydia and you're gonna get rotation inhibitor and it's just a toggle and there it is so when it's red, I mean it's a little different, when it's red the lock is on and when it's green it's off. So take a look in the upper right hand corner and may make it green, now it's off. So that takes care of my second issue and that's kind of important, you know, if you're trying to like maybe lay down on the couch or whatever and you're still playing with your phone, you know, you want to lock it. So but that does take care of it okay and my third and final issue with multiflow is that certain apps one is Cydia right off the bat will never show up in multiflow and the Cydia one I've been told that it won't background because of backgrounder they, they've actually designed it where it's going to always ignore Cydia. It'll never background Cydia. So so that that's all right. That's, you know, explainable. But there are other other programs that will not show up in multiflow. And let me give you an example right now. Right now it says that I have no backgrounded apps. However, if I open up the app switcher, screen splitter is there. I can't really close it right now because I'm using it. But you know there there are applications that won't show up in multiflow and really the workaround is you use activator and i have set my status bar to a double tap that'll show apples um app switcher so i mean technically i'm kind of using both a couple times a day you know i'll tap it just to make sure nothing you know maybe stayed open or never appeared in multiflow so it's kinda of disappointing especially you know since I paid for the app bottom line I don't recommend anybody buying this app but if you already have it you know I, I hope the things that I told you are, are gonna help you get a little bit of use out of you know for your money so anyway if you like this video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe Peace.